Les has lived here all his life. Just everybody knows Les. We've been friends a long time. Always a character. I try not to be too hard to get along with. <laughs> Go down through, right past his house every day, so it's, you know, he's out there waving all the time to us. Saturday mornings we'd be up, and him and his brother would get together, and we'd all go up and cut firewood. But his sons have helped him, and like his brother used to help him, they always did everything together. 30 years ago we started, or maybe longer than that, we, every spring we'd you know, start on a wood pile. And... Les calls me over on occasion. Keep it up, we'll have it all done, time you're done. To help him out with wood and help him out with maybe tuning up his, his lawnmower or something. We're sawing up uh, logs into chunks. When he was sawing it, he hit the blade against the other pile and it kicked up and hit. And it started bleeding like a stuck hog. This is really bleeping happening to me. And then he says, don't swear. He said, you shouldn't swear. Then he brought me down out of the woods, you know, helped me down the trail. And then Bonnie was over there in the garden. He hollered at her and she come running over. The more I pressed on it, that it didn't do any good. It just spurted right out. I just knew I had to get him help. And I stayed on the phone with the 911 like she told me to. And I saw the ambulance go by. I had no idea it was him. The boys in the back were starting IV lines. They'd get two IV lines going. At the same time, Steve's um, trying to stabilize this. So he basically had his hand in, the, in his chest. When we arrived, they had surgeons, ED docs, nurses. His blood pressure was zero. We'd already started resuscitation. We redoubled our efforts, and his blood pressure returned with blood products and more fluid. Time is the essence. If he'd been transported on the helicopter, he would not have made it that day. All his, his children were there in, in the uh, waiting room, and I just said, he's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. He, he, he was in great hands with Cottage Hospital. He walked away three days later. It's pretty remarkable. Well, that's a good story anyway. <laughs> Every time I see him, I'm thankful that he's here. I actually consider Les to be a grandfather. Hard to imagine life without him now. I would recommend Cottage Hospital to anyone. It's just... Something wonderful that we have. They said, you'll probably never use a chainsaw again. I said, why not? I said, people have car accidents every day and they still get in and drive. I'm not ready to stop cutting wood, but I probably won't cut as much as I used to.